Hi, my name is Joanne Kennedy and I'm a naturopath in Sydney, Australia, and I specialise in methylation and histamine intolerance. In this video, I'm going to discuss the important role that digestive enzymes play in treating as well as preventing histamine intolerance. So one of our most important digestive enzymes is hydrochloric acid, which is also sometimes called stomach acid. And hydrochloric acid is released in the stomach to break down food, in particular protein. It converts pepsinogen into pepsin, which is needed to break down and absorb protein. And it's also antimicrobial. And being antimicrobial, it's going to help prevent bad microbes getting into the gut. It also sends a message to the pancreas to release pancreatic juice. And the pancreatic juice moves the pancreatic enzymes into the small bowel. And the pancreatic juice is alkalizing, so it alkalizes the small intestine, which is needed for the proper functioning of the pancreatic enzymes. And pancreatic enzymes break down fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. Now, if you don't have an alkalized environment in the small bowel, then it's acidic, which is a breeding ground for SIBO bacteria. Now, the other thing hydrochloric acid does, it sells a message to the gallbladder to release bowel acids and bowel acids break down fats and bowel acids are also antimicrobial. Okay, so the net result of having low hydrochloric acid is you can have problems with bowel acids, you can have problems with pancreatic juice and pancreatic enzymes and, and the net result of a dysfunction and a reduction in the functioning of these enzymes is, is can be SIBO and SIBO in itself is a major cause of histamine intolerance. So I'm going to share with you some extracts from my book which will go into all the different signs and symptoms and causes of digestive enzyme insufficiency. Okay, so here we've got hydrochloric acid. Now major signs and symptoms of low hydrochloric acid are bloating, heartburn, flatulence after meals, you can get poor protein digestion, a prolonged sense of fullness after eating. Now this is very common. People often tell me this is the case when they have low hydrochloric acid. It can cause diarrhea or it can cause constipation, causes nausea, indigestion, definitely cause un undigested food in your stools. You might not see this, but this often comes up on stool testing. It can cause chronic candida, rosacea, eczema, reduce the absorption of vitamin B12, vitamin B6, iron and folate. Now B12, B6 and folate are essential for methylation. Okay, so not absorbing them properly can cause issues with methylation. It also can increase food allergies and this often is going to mean problems with histamine. Okay, so what are some of the main causes of low hydrochloric acid? Now, aging can definitely cause low hydrochloric acid, so can stress. Helicobacter pylori, you, the use of proton pump inhibitors or the use of histamine 2 receptor blockers. So these medications reduce hydrochloric acid, as well as metformin, which is a medication used for insulin resistance that can also reduce your hydrochloric acid. Okay, so while I've got you here on this page, we can also go into... What we're looking for with signs and symptoms of pancreatic enzyme insufficiency. Okay, so you get fatty stools. This is because of the reduction lipase, which breaks down fats. That's one type of pancreatic enzyme. It can cause bloating, abdominal pain, weight loss. It also can reduce the absorption of your fat-soluble nutrients, A, D, E, and K. Vitamin A and vitamin D are really important for actually healing the gut. Okay, can also cause essential issues with a lack of essential fatty acids. Can also cause a deficiency in calcium and magnesium, there's folate, zinc and vitamin B1. Okay, so pancreatic enzymes are obviously really important for absorption of nutrients. Now, some of the main causes of pancreatic enzyme insufficiency, chronic pancreatitis, celiac disease, okay, pancreatic duct obstruction. Okay, you can see all of these diseases here okay now clinically we often see issues with pancreatic enzyme insufficiency where these people don't have one of these diseases they might just have low hydrochloric acid or they might just have a lot of inflammation okay causing a reduction in the or inflammation is going to cause acidity and it's going to cause a reduction in the capacity for pancreatic enzymes to work effectively okay so here we've got bile acids, 
right? So bile acids, they, they are made in the liver and they're stored in the in the gallbladder. And I was just discussing before, the hydrochloric acid is going to actually stimulate. When the brain detects hydrochloric acid is released, it will send a message to the um, gallbladder to release the bile acids, okay? Now, here are some of the signs and symptoms of bile acid insufficiency or malabsorption, okay? Diarrhea is a classic sign. You can also get fecal urgency or fecal incontinence, which are obviously really not very pleasant things to have can cause abdominal pain, as well as a deficiency in the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K, okay? So some of the main causes of bile acid malabsorption, okay? SIBO is a big issue. So what happens with SIBO is the SIBO bacteria deconjugate bile acids. It means it breaks them. And when they're broken, they are unable to effectively bind up your fat, Okay, so it's not actually a good idea to take too much bile acids when you've got SIBO because that's going to cause further deconjugation of bile acids. Okay, you need to get the SIBO bacteria down first before you can go in with supplementing with some, some bile acids. Now, the problem also with deconjugated bile acids is that they damage the gut. So damaged gut is going to cause more inflammation and therefore more release of histamine. Okay, so you can see digestive enzymes are essential. You need to ensure that you are taking adequate amounts of digestive enzymes. If you have issues with them, you might need to ensure that if you've got SIBO that you need to treat that, you need to get that down. Also, simply if you're not eating enough animal protein, then your need for hydrochloric acid will reduce. Okay, because you don't need it to break down the protein, but what will eventually happen is that you won't have enough to protect the gut. Okay, so you're going to get bad microbes come in. You're going to get also issues with the proper functioning of your pancreatic enzymes and your bile acids.